Pinskower. The rapid pace of progress in modern life means ever greater demands in the field of transportation. The latest development of Steyr Daimler Poop, the Pinskower, named after a hardy and reliable breed of alpine horse, is especially fit to carry out the toughest transport jobs in any kind of terrain. The, the Pinskower's performance and range of application may be judged from the following data. An 87 DIN horsepower gasoline engine, air-cooled, top speed of over 100 kilometers per hour, a capacity of one ton as a four-wheel vehicle and 1.5 tons as a six-wheel vehicle, all-wheel drive and differential locks. This accounts for the Pinskower's ability to cope with transportation jobs safely and fast under the most difficult terrain conditions on gradients of up to 70% across rubble, stone, sand, or snow. The Pinsgauer's special driving qualities are achieved by a number of technical refinements. The chassis is composed of a front and rear axle connected by a sturdy and torsion-resistant central backbone tube. The wheels are sprung independently by means of jointed cross-shaft axles. The result is superior ground adhesion of all four wheels when working in open country. The engine is located above the front axle. Power is transmitted to the front and rear axles via the gears, a drive shaft, intermediate gearing, and a shaft in the center tube. The jointed cross shaft axles are designed as portal axles, which permits greater ground clearance. At the axle ends, the front axle is equipped with homokinetic joints to permit the proper angle of lock. The vehicle has an air-cooled, four-stroke, four-cylinder engine with a crankshaft supported in five bearings and a piston displacement of 2,500 cubic centimeters. It produces 87 DIN horsepower at 4,000 RPM and is expressly designed for favorable development of the torque. Maximum torque is already reached at 2,000 RPM. Air cooling means trouble-free operation at extreme temperatures and under all climatic conditions. Two downdraft carburetors for off-the-road operation assure good starting and unproblematic performance even when the vehicle is at a considerable slant. For driving on roads, there is an all synchromesh transmission with five gears forward and one reverse. Shifting in the intermediate drive offers an additional five gears forward and one reverse, which are only for use off the road. As the diagram shows, a shaft leads from the intermediate gearing to the front axle. This can be engaged on the go for all-wheel drive. This engagement is effected hydraulically and can be made while the vehicle is in motion. Both the front and rear axles have a differential lock. It too can be engaged hydraulically. The body consists of molded sheet metal parts. Their supporting elements are lightweight, since the centube chassis absorbs all driving stresses. The frame components are clamped in a welding fixture and spot welded. Then the suitably prepared body sheets are welded on. The finished main body assemblies go next to the bonderizing unit and are chemically cleaned. Here the surface is given an anti-corrosive coating of zinc phosphate to which lacquer adheres particularly well. The base lacquer coat is applied by dipping. With this process, hollow spaces not easily reached are well wetted. After intermediate drying, four more coats of lacquer are applied by spraying and are individually baked.
an anti-noise coating is sprayed onto the underside of the body. This also serves as protection against stone throw. The body is thus protected against all influences, such as damp, stone throw, and condensation in hollow spaces. After the electric wiring has been installed, the body is joined to the chassis on the assembly line. Then comes the final assembly of the electric elements, instruments, wheels, seats, and hood. Immediately after completion on this assembly line, which is just next to that of its little brother, the Hofflinger, every Pinsgauer is subjected to an acceptance test by the factory. At regular intervals, more exhaustive series examinations are made by random sampling. Test drivers then thoroughly try out the behavior of these vehicles in all driving situations. For example, on the road in all forward gears and speeds. Off the road after shifting to intermediate drive. Driving with all wheel drive and differential lock in difficult country performance and behavior of the vehicle under these conditions, and the dependability of all component parts. Two basic models of the Pinskauer are manufactured. The two-axle model, 4x4, with a payload of one ton. And the three-axle model, 6x6, six with a larger load area and a payload of 1.5 tons. On all vehicles, the load area can be converted into seats for passenger transport. Two rollover bars ensure effective protection for all occupants. The engine is located inside the driver's cab and after lifting the appropriate covers, all assemblies are easily accessible from all sides for maintenance work. One of the first clients for the Pinskauer was the Swiss Army, which subjected several prototypes of the vehicle to toughest testing conditions for a full year. In addition to the two models we have already mentioned, which were used as personnel carriers, there is a radio truck model whose fitness for military use was also tested. The tests, the films of which you are now seeing, consisted of long and grueling cross-country trials, plus a series of fundamental technical tests. In traction tests, the maximum pull of the vehicle and its ground adhesion were tested under greatly varying conditions. The dynamometer shows a pull of two tons. This proves that all-wheel drive in combination with differential locks makes possible a maximum utilization of power up to the limit of tire traction by the non-slip drive of all wheels. The trials were repeated on various surfaces such as hardtop roads, gravel, grass, and so on. The recording tape supplies information about the time slope of the pull when the drawn vehicle is braked. In winter, the best results are obviously obtained with snow chains on. Low temperature test. Optimum performance in winter is one of the most important demands made on an all-purpose vehicle. Easy starting and perfect operation were confirmed at temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees centigrade. On the chassis dynamometer, the engine function and the entire powertrain are checked. The carbon monoxide content of the exhaust is checked by a CO tester. This has a double purpose good fuel utilization, and the demands of environmental protection. The Pinskauer meets the required values. Using the so-called Heiseler wheel, 
Exact measurements of top speed, acceleration, and vehicle stopping distances can be made. In addition, a decelerometer is employed. The Pinskauer is equal to all demands. The following cornering and swerve test provides information about the Pinskauer's behavior under the effect of centrifugal force when taking curves. The Pinskauer shows only modest side tilt values, behaving like a passenger vehicle with excellent road holding properties. The installed recorder registers the accelerations and decelerations of the body under these conditions and confirms the vehicle's good drivability. A not insignificant part of the test series were rollover trials, which showed the following results. In terrain with a gradient of approximately 20%, the vehicle remained on its side after capsizing. In steeper terrain of 70 to 80 percent, the interior was protected for some time when overturning by the two strong rollover bars. This means a high degree of safety for the occupants. impact test demonstrated that the body remained relatively undamaged at an impact of approximately 50 kilometers per hour. The center tube chassis likewise showed great resistance to deformation. The central feature of all tests were repeated cross-country driving under the toughest conditions. Here the technical resources of the vehicle proved their worth. Water with a depth of 60 centimeters and more can be forded by the Pinskauer without difficulty, since the necessary splash proofing is provided. The Pinskauer's fording depth is 600 millimeters. The ground clearance obtained by the, the portal axles makes it possible to travel on deeply rutted ground. The Pinskauer's ground clearance is 335 millimeters. Climbing capacity is first rate, subject to the surface and the tire traction limit. The latter is 70% for the Pinskauer, and even more on hard surfaces like concrete. Traversing narrow ditches with steep walls depends on the greatest possible overhang angles of the vehicle. Thanks to the Pinskauer's forward control design, the angles are 43 degrees front and rear, very favorable for cross-country operation. Crossing short obstacles rising from the ground demands good ground clearance. The Pinskauer's is 275 millimeters. After years of development and tens of thousands of kilometers hard testing on mountain routes and sand tracks, long drawn out winter tests and military trial runs, the Steierpuch Pinskauer is now being manufactured by experts in specially built new works. It is able to solve the most difficult transportation problems under all climatic conditions. That is why this cross-country vehicle is a prime example of Steyr-Daimler-Pook's guiding principle, products for special demands.